right. Good morning, everybody. All right. Sorry, the radio is on, but we we gotta move on. All right. We want this morning. I want to show you. Look. Excuse this environment. Okay. So far, this is. I'll give you a round of okay of what we are up to right now. Okay. So this is the room, the showroom for one. Okay. And then here, the inner room. <laughs> the, this is the, spa the space that we actually broke through, right? Remember? All right. And then here, we come right up here. Okay. The, it's very dusty because of the cement work. Okay. So this place, if it's dusty, if it's dirty, don't get put off because construction is not pretty. Okay, we are not here with makeup. Okay, all right. And then if you come through here, all right, this is the bathroom. We've not finished yet. All right, we've not finished here. It's very dusty right now, but we are chipping at it one at a time. Okay, so if you look at this alleyway, it's all debris up and all that but we will clean it up by the time we realize this place looks cool all right we will tile it now what i want you to see uh, at this moment is this important um cost effective biofuel digester that ghana is into all right so in case you don't want to you know break the bank this is what you can do sustainably all right for a small project this one it, they, uh, they have three types small 1200 uh, medium which is 1600 or large which is over 2000 so whichever is your preference you can do that for your store all right for your commercial uh, property or something like that okay these buttons are not pretty right but we will chip at it one at a time because we want ultimately to have our customers to feel comfortable because one day our customers will come and guess where they will be right here and apart from that we would have to get a place where we can have an R&R &R or people can change but changing or whatever it's going to be in this corner okay so we will chip at ooh, we will chip at it one at a time okay <laughs> okay so let's see this is this biofuel is sustainable and they are chipping at it one at a time and you can see that the tube they have uh, put it in the tube okay from here up to there and you can see they've laid it there in the sorry they've laid it there all right so they are there uh, sorry they are out there so to, they are mixing the cement and then they will come and pour it right here okay and do it a similar job so right now it, there's this mound of sand right here and we uh, this is what we are going to do we are going to oh my system is too hot we are going to use this sand okay uh, to put it outside I'll show you where okay this is what I'm talking about okay so um, they have if you see let's look at a close-up and so you see that they have uh, whatever here the hole and then the tube um, is right there okay so the tube is there laid okay to connect it all right and there's um, connect and that's connect hi connect hi. <laughs> all right so he's up there all right and mixing it and right now he is trying to measure it up all right and my device is a little bit too hot so I, I gotta cool it down for like 30 minutes and they, I'm using pixel uh, Google pixel and believe me it can be brilliant and at the same time frustrating okay so you see so this place is all gung up but it's not going to be very long and this is my office my little brainstorming office and I look up this every morning that's what I do I look at these things the paint here this all right and then I come and hug my lion hello oh. and then I <laughs> and then I look up here okay and then I check this out and I check here okay and then I look here this is my dreaded portion all right so let's go there all right 
for my dreaded portion. You see, this is why there is this white uh, residues. The residues where the tape, they were a little bit too uh, sticky. And when the painter was trying to rip it off after finishing, <laughs> after painting, it came off. The paint came off because the stick, well, for some reason, the stick that he used wasn't one that is uh, the adhesive was a little bit too sticky so it ruined his painting so he's very frustrated he's coming back to fix it all right so I will show you in a minute what I'm trying to say about this road if you don't take care somebody's going to die all right so I'm not being overly uh, dramatic why because um, one of my friends um, had his um, had a problem okay the thing is if you are crossing this place up right if you are crossing and you don't take care you'll be knocked down all right so we are trying very 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 hard to maybe possibly um bring some politician in oh politician oh my god no uh we have to do it ourselves ghana environment is that you it's pretty much do it yourself or nothing so don't be frustrated do things yourself don't insult them just do it okay that's your contribution to their development all right so this is what i'm talking about you see here we are trying to make sure that here to here we fill it up all right so that um when we fill it it will be safer for drivers to come from either side okay okay we, um, do you remember um i told you that we the carpenters have come to finish up the um, the roof all right um, do you remember I said that we need to fill this place up okay the traffic disappeared within two hours it, it, this place was all filled up okay so here this ravine this is what we are going to do we are going to fix this ravine all right we are going to pour that sand here I don't know how cool that is gonna be but we are going to chip it one at a time right in this ravine right here Okay, so that this demarcation here and here will be filled. Okay, look. This is an anthill. Oh, blast. Interesting. Dang it. And then there's a neem tree right here. That means what? I don't know. I'll try to maintain it. Whatever. So this ravine is going to go. All right. And so this is, this morning, this is, and that's my next door neighbor. <laughs> well, she sells uh, water, so that's essential supply for the workers right here. Okay, she's cool. Okay, all right, talk to you soon. Either side, from here or from here. I'm being emphatic because it's kind of uh, necessary because of the high uh, road network. Because if we are not, obviously, we are not in Route 22 or we are not on Route. Uh, uh, this is a major road or Route 80. This is a major, major road. Okay, from uh, Cameroon. Um, here is Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. And hey! What was going on? Why are you speeding and why? What's going on? How long have you been? How long have you been driving? Ten years. Hi, Lucy. Good. I'm fine. And you? Hi. Okay. All right. I told you so. I told you so. They are crazy. They are crazy. Ghana people are hot tempered and crazy. <laughs> Glad you are working in the shade. It's much better. I worry when you guys work in the sun. By the time you get home, you are so sick. And in case you get a little bit of 
Malaria is like your world has fallen apart. So this is good. Do you need water? Is your water finished? No, please. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So I'll show you the structure. The structure goes right here. Okay. Let me give you a better angle. Okay. So the angle. Ah, look. Look at the lizard. Yeah. So there. Okay. And then the pipe will be laid here. So this is the angle that they are working at. Okay. Oh, just look. There's a rainstorm. Okay, oh dear. <laughs> so, what do we do? Alright? Okay. Let's close. Uh, let's get in the shade. Okay.